In this video, I want to show you how to install Tails operating system on a USB key and how to configure a persistent volume also on the same USB key. First, we need to download Tails. So open your web browser and go to this website, tails.boom.org and hit enter. This is the official Tails website. Click on Get Tails and then click on Four USB Sticks and then click on Download Tails. The download will begin as you see. While Tails is downloading, we need to download Rufus. So open a new tab, go to rufus.ie and press enter. And then scroll to the middle of the page and click on Rufus 3.11 or whatever the latest version is. And as you see, Rufus is downloading. It's an executable file, so we don't need to install it. After the download finishes, insert the USB key in your PC. Here I am inserting a 32 gigabyte USB key. You can use a USB key as small as 8 gigabyte. It's better to use a 3.0 USB key. I'm gonna put a link in the description to a recommended USB key. After you insert your USB key, open your downloads folder. Double click on Rufus. Click yes if prompted. When Rufus starts, make sure here under device, it is selecting the right USB key because everything on the USB key will be white. So first make sure that the data on the USB key, you don't need it. And then make sure that Rufus selected the right one. In case you have many USB keys inserted in your PC, click here on the drop down list and select the right one. You can recognize it, of course, by its label and by its size. After you select the correct USB key, click on select here to select the image that we downloaded for Tails OS. So choose the image of Tails OS, click open. And here all you have to do is click on start. It will give you a warning that everything on the USB key will be deleted. Click OK, and the operation begins. It shouldn't take long, especially if you have a 3.0 USB key plugged into a 3.0 port on your PC. When the operation finishes, you'll get a message saying that it's ready. All you have to do now is click on close and take the USB key and try it on your laptop. So now I'll be switching to an external camera and I'll show you step by step how you'll configure Tails OS with persistence. Now that you have the USB key of Tails ready, put it in your laptop and start the laptop from the USB key. So fire up your laptop and press the hot boot key that take you to the boot options. Here it's a Dell laptop, so I pressed F12. I will put a hot boot key list in the description. You can check it out for popular laptop models. So select USB storage and press enter. Press enter again on Tails to start it. On this screen here, if you want to start another language or you have another keyboard layout, feel free to choose whatever you want. Here I'm gonna keep them on English United States. So click on start trails. And here is Tails started. Let's connect to the Wi-Fi network now. So click on this arrow on the top right corner. Click Wi-Fi not connected. Click Select Network. If you don't see any network here, it means that they didn't recognize the network card in your laptop. I'm gonna put in the description a link to three USB Wi-Fi dongles that are compatible with Tails. I didn't try these dongles myself. I got the list from the Tails website. So here click on your Wi-Fi network and then click connect. Put the password and press enter or click connect. 
and it should connect in seconds. And here it is connected. At this stage here, as you saw, you can always start tails like this without persistence, but each time you create a folder or a file or you connect to a network, you need to reconnect each time you start. But here in this video, I'm going to show you how to configure persistence. So on this screen now, click on Applications, hover over Tails, and on the right, click on Configure Persistent Volume. The Configure Persistent Volume wizard will appear. Give it a second. So here it is. First, you need to put the password for your volume. Put the password you want and then confirm it. Click on Create. It will take seconds. The size of the volume is determined automatically by Tails. It keeps around 10 GB for itself and gives the rest for the persistent volume. In the Setup Persistent Volume wizard here, as I told you before, this is the calculated size that Tails calculated for the persistent volume. It kept 10 GB for itself. And here below, you choose which data and settings you want to persist. Of course, feel free to choose whatever you want. Here I'm going to choose personal data. I'm going to choose also network connections. So you see now when I restart Tails, the network connection here would persist. Of course, not this time, because after this configuration, we need to restart and then the persistent will work. I'm going to show you this step by step. Additional software also, in case we install some additional software. And that's it for now. So I'm going to click on Save. And it's telling me that the persistent weather is finished. So now we can close this application. Now we need to restart Tails once again and restart it with persistence. Unlock the persistent volume and then the persistence will work. So start once again from the USB key. You'll notice now that we have a new option called encrypted persistent storage. So here we need to put the password of the persistent volume to unlock it. And then click unlock. And once it is unlocked, you can click on Start Tails. And now that Tails started with a persistent volume unlocked, whatever we chose in the persistent wizard will persist if we restarted while unlocking the persistent volume. So let me show you. I'm going to configure the network once again. So once it is connected now, if I restart Tails now with persistent unlocked, you'll see that the network connection will appear here. So now let me start it. You need to unlock the persistent volume. And then when you start Tails, you'll see that the network connection will appear by itself. So it persisted. So as you saw, this is a network connection. It persisted through the restarts. That was it. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please share it, subscribe to my channel, and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.